it was back in February end when I came back from office one fine day, walked into my studio to drop off my bag and shoes that I noticed a package on my work desk. Seems like my husband had accepted the courier and kept it there as it was for me. I was surprised as I hadn't ordered anything from anywhere. I opened the package in excitement and really wanted to jump up and down at the gift inside. Hey friends, I'm Geetu, your very own colorful mystique. I'm a part-time artist with an art business, a full-time aerospace engineer, an instructor and a mother to a toddler. Today, I have something really exciting for you. The gift was my friend Sushma's book. Sushma is an amazing artist and a really good friend of mine and I had completely forgotten that she was going to send this book over to me, which of course she was in the way I was surprised. As I went through the book, I was stunned by the sheer beauty of each page. Every picture in the book just made me speechless. The pictures, the props, the flower arrangement, the style, everything speaks for itself. I am out of words to describe the beauty of it. I have never painted florals before. I mean, I have painted flower pictures from references, but never the beautiful watercolor floral styles which I have seen many artists do. So when I got first hands on this gorgeous book, I couldn't refrain myself from trying them out. After all, I was on a painting out of my comfort zone mode since the past few weeks. So I decided to dive in, try some wildflowers myself and really push my artistic limits. I have seen Sushma paint these gorgeous wildflowers in many of her Instagram reels and have literally always admired her style. I made sure to go through the book once before I started. I wanted to be sure that I had all the right supplies to start and of course wanted to read each of the step-by-step -step instructions before I dig in. Few days later, I just sat in my studio and travelled to Wildflowers World with Sushma. Every single picture is like magic. I've always admired the way Sushma plays with, you know, her brushes and makes those leaves, the teeny tiny leaves in between her wildflowers. And just look at this, she's shared the entire steps of it. I can't wait to learn from this. It would be really something good to add to my knowledge base. Okay, now I'm literally confused as to which one I should try. I do wanna go ahead and try all of them. Oh my god, this is just beautiful! And it's called Valerian. Ah, this is amazing. Valerian is the road where I live in, so I like that. Wow! Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna be trying today. I love this one. I really, really love this one. It's Foxglove. I'm, I'm so proud to be owning this book, honestly. Thank you, Sushma, for sending this over. It's, it's just too good too beautiful i think anyone looking to learn florals should own this book this is like the best thing i've ever seen the book was pretty much self-sufficient for me to start painting florals as it laid out every single step and the colors for the projects I did try to change some of the colors and do some flowers of my own and it felt super cool to be trying something different after all these years. And I must say, painting florals with minimum brush strokes and Sushma's unique style was really scary but an amazing experience. It made me admire her as an artist even more. I have always been a landscape painter and trying this out made me realize that the hand control, muscle memory and even the kind of brush strokes that you need to paint florals were completely different. I have tried out some flower landscapes before and as you can see these are unique to my style and is mostly on the wet on wet method. Today I'm using the sketchbook from Blue Pine Arts which has rough surfaced paper so there were times where I was struggling to get the right water to paint ratio. Even if I was picking up a lot of water, the roughness of the paper wasn't giving me smooth transitions. I guess I should have tried this on cold press paper 
but I loved the way I was pushing myself and trying to learn multiple things at the same time. And of course, at the end, I added few splatters because, well, because you know me. This was really therapeutic and I found myself falling into the floral trap laid down by Sushma. I can see myself trying out more flowers from this book. It is a gold mine of information on painting watercolor florals and has a lot of deeper information on painting every kind of wildflowers that you can imagine. Well, the good thing is this book is releasing in the US on March 14th, that is today, and the rest of the world on the 25th of April. But you can pre-order your book from Amazon. I'll leave links to all of it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and is literally on your way to purchase this book from Amazon. But before you go, please click that subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for me for showing you this book. I'm gonna be signing off, so see you in my next video. Bye.